Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you as you join us to celebrate this very special virtual conferring ceremony. We are joined by your RCSI and Dublin Fire Brigade faculty who are enormously proud of your achievements and today I thank them on your behalf for their commitment. The COVID pandemic has created many challenges for our global healthcare systems and providers. From this global pandemic will emerge a new era of healthcare which will call for great healthcare leadership to manage uncertainty effectively and implement change needed to navigate us through this particularly difficult time. As you graduate today, equipped with the tools, expertise and knowledge to progress within your career, you will be challenged, but you will have the opportunity to demonstrate your ability to be innovative in increasingly uncertain healthcare environments. My colleagues and I from RCSI and the Dublin Fire Brigade are immensely proud and inspired by the commitment and dedication you have shown to your studies. Today, we celebrate your achievements, but remember, the RCSI community will always be here to support and champion you as each of you continue on your healthcare journey. We are here today to present you virtually with your Diploma in Emergency Medical Technology. I will be joined today by colleagues from RCSI and Dublin Fire Brigade. Firstly, Professor Ronan O'Connell, President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Mr. Dennis Keeley, Chief Fire Officer at Dublin Fire Brigade, Professor Hannah McGee, Deputy Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs at RCSI, Professor Darren O'Connor, Head of the School of Postgraduate Studies at RCSI, Dr. Killian McGrogan, Medical Director of the Mercer Medical Centre, Dr. Peter O'Connor, Brigade Medical Director, Dr. Neve Collins, Programme Medical Director at RCSI, Mr. Michael O'Reilly, Assistant Chief Fire Officer, Mr. John Kyo, 3rd Officer Ambulance, Dublin Fire Brigade, Mr. Brendan Carroll, Brigade Training Officer, Mr. Martin O'Reilly, District Officer EMS Support, Mr. Paul Lambert, District Officer EMS Training, Ms. Patricia Fitzpatrick, Programme Manager. I now declare open the conferring ceremony. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs of RCSI, Professor Hannah McGee. Thank you, Cahill. A very warm welcome to the RCSI and Dublin Fire Brigade Emergency Medical Technology Diploma graduating class and to your family and friends watching this very special graduation ceremony today. While it is disappointing for you and for us that you are unable to attend this graduation in person, I do hope that you will take the time to celebrate this wonderful occasion and reflect on your achievement, your perseverance and commitment to your studies throughout this global pandemic has demonstrated significant strength and resilience. The partnership between RCSI and the Dublin Fire Brigade was established 20 years ago in 2002 for the provision of emergency medical education and training. And during this COVID-19 pandemic, we have all seen the incredible work undertaken by frontline workers like yourselves. All over the world, this is a very significant time to study and become a healthcare professional. The RCSI's mission to educate, nurture and discover for the benefit of human health has never been more relevant, never been so in tune with the needs of our times as during this COVID pandemic. Equally, the Dublin Fire Brigade has a very long and proud history of public service, of bravery and professionalism in dealing with emergencies. You are truly dedicated frontline healthcare professionals, providing an outstanding public service. And RCSI is very proud of our partnership with Dublin Fire Brigade. Thank you to all of the dedicated educators, administrators and the programme board who have had to make exceptional efforts to keep the programme going over the last two years. And our thanks also to the families of our graduates, many of whom will have worked very hard to support your studies. Most of all for you, our graduates of 2022, we are very proud of you today. You have shown great strength of resolve and perseverance in completing your studies in this most extraordinary of times. 
Today is a joyous and momentous occasion for you, your family and friends. My congratulations to you all. We will now proceed with the presentation of the Emergency Medical Technology Diploma and I invite Professor Darren O'Connor, Head of the School of Postgraduate Studies, to introduce the graduates. Thank you, Hannah. It's a great honour to be here today to introduce the graduates receiving the Diploma in Emergency Medical Technology. From Class 13, Shane McGill. Class 14, Miranda Andrews. Declan Bow. Frank Brennan. Darren Brereton. Tom Byrne, Gareth Carberry, Stephen Cleary, Andrew Connolly, Kevin Conroy, Owen Cooley, Matthew Crean, Stephen Cullen, Connor Daly, Stephen Duffy, Jamie Ennis, Gary Halpin, Christopher Humphreys, Amy Highland, Jared Kavanagh, Dermot Kelly, Mary Kelly, Robert Kelly, Gemma Kiernan, Connor Kilroy, Dave Lawler, Eric Light, Mark Losty, Connor Mackey, Nikki Maypother, Sean McBride, Alan McCarthy, Peter McElroy, Alan McGee, Alan McGrath, Cahill McNally, James Meehan, Dylan Moore, Podrick Mulrennan, Darren Murphy, Niall O'Brien, Ryan O'Doherty, Christopher Parks, Christopher Roach, Carl Stewart, Brian Twomley, Declan Walsh, Shane Walsh, Shane Whelan. That concludes the announcement of the candidates for class 13 and class 14. Congratulations to each of you on your achievement. Hello paramedics of course 14 um, congratulations on your graduation today. I expect that some challenges await you which of course I strongly believe going um, by the manner you've conducted yourself over the years previous and the skills and the knowledge we have imparted on you. Uh, you will surely overcome any challenges presented to you. Uh, at this point, I would implore you to always see yourself as an ambassador of Dublin Fire Brigade and of also of the Royal College of Surgeons. Be kind and good to all the patients you meet in the course of your duties. Uh, think big and be optimistic in, in what you are doing and uh, good success in your paramedic career going forward. Thank you. I will now introduce the candidates receiving the diploma an emergency medical technology from class 15. Derek Bateson, Graham Ball, Stuart Butler, Thomas Byrne, David Clark, Neil Corcoran, Robert Corcoran, 
James Courage, Darren Donnelly, Carl Dorney, Andrew Dowling, Oliver Dunn, Connor Farrell, David Gettings, Jeff Kalhuli, Cormac Goggin, Philip Harris, James Hendrickson, Martin Hunt, Craig Highland, Graham Kelly, Michael Kiernan, Nigel Kiernan, Francis Larkin, Simon Lawler, David Lee, David McGuire, Sean Marr, Aaron McCarthy, Keen McGivern, Andrew McGowan, Jonathan McGrain, Tom McGratton, Jake McLaughlin, David Edward O'Brien, Sean O'Neill, Juan O'Ra, Graham O'Rourke, Gavin Quinn, Jack Rogers, Daniel Simpson, Derek Singleton, Kenneth Skelly, Glenn Sloan, David Snow, Peter Stanley, Brian Stewart, Killian Timmons, Craig Wade, Paul Whelan, Craig Wilson, Paul Gates. That concludes the announcement of the candidates for Class 15. Again, congratulations to each of you on your achievement. I would like to congratulate the members of Paramedic Class 15 on this their graduation. What a wonderful, great occasion and one that's truly deserved after two years of hard work through some of the most trying times they're likely to see in their careers. It's a pity we can't all be together to share this wonderful occasion. However, I would like again just to say well done and congratulations and the very best of luck in your future careers. Good morning. My name is Jerry Kell. I'm the Chief Airport Fire Officer here at Dublin Airport. I would like to congratulate all the students of Paramedic Course 15 on your achievement and both you and your families should be very proud of your success. I would especially like to congratulate Stuart Butler and Craig Wade from the Airport Fire Service. May I also thank Dublin Fire Brigade for the excellent training that you provide. The start of 2022 is challenging, but hopefully as the year progresses, it will improve. May I wish you all the very best in your future career as paramedics. We will now proceed with the announcement of the Special Merit Award for the most outstanding student in class 14 and 15. From class 14, the award goes to Mark Losty. From class 15, the award goes to Kenneth Skelly. Congratulations to each of you on your achievement. It is customary at this point in our ceremony to acknowledge the teaching faculty of the paramedic classes. For class 14, Mark Fay, course director, Terence Storr, assistant course director, Joseph Brady, Paul Creevy, Mark Donnelly, James Doyle, Carl Condellan, Ray Martin, Michael O'Brien, Kevin Reddington, Ethna Scully, Stephen White. And for class 15, Niall O'Reilly, course director, Joseph Brady, assistant course director, Ray Carney, Paul Creevy, Gary Hayden, Gavin Hoey, Carl Condellan, Alan Murphy, Michelle O'Toole, 
Rory Previtt, Ethna Scully, Stephen Weldon, Stephen White. On behalf of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland and the Dublin Fire Brigade and our new graduates, I wish to express our sincere thanks to each of you for your hard work and dedication. That concludes the presentation for the Diploma in Emergency Medical Technology. I now invite you, joining us virtually, to join me in offering a round of applause to the new graduates. Congratulations to you all for successfully completing your diploma in emergency medical technology. Best of luck. As medical director of the Dublin Fire Brigade Ambulance, I want to congratulate all of you on passing the diploma in emergency medical technology. Today is a just reward for all your hard work, and I recognize that COVID-19 has made this process especially difficult for you and your families. I wish you the best in your future careers and what will be an arduous but fulfilling career. Hi, I'd like to congratulate you all on your achievement and your graduation today. Although the virtual graduation is not ideal, uh, your dedication to uh, your qualification has been exemplary throughout the whole process. Um, I just ask you to do something good with everything that you've learned and well done to you all. Hello, congratulations class 14 and class 15. This is Neve Collins here, the medical advisor to the DFB paramedic program. First of all, I'd like to now welcome you formally to the world of the Irish healthcare worker. We're now part of a large community, standing up and looking after the citizens of Ireland. What the world you're entering now is an enormous privilege it's not an easy one, but it is a privilege. You get to witness people at their most vulnerable and their most frightened. And most people don't get that experience and that'll enrich us and grow as people. But it is also a privilege to have the skills to be able to intervene, to make things better. And I want to wish you well in your professional careers as you go forward and look after people. It's important though, with that privilege comes responsibility. And today as you graduate, I want to ask you all to make a commitment to keep learning. Engage with education, engage with training. Always ask yourself, is there anything I could do better? And in this world where we are bombarded with information, never forget the importance of thinking critically question, ask, why is someone sharing this information? What's the purpose of this information? And always make up your own mind. The world you're going to be working in isn't going to be easy, despite it being enriching. So my other big message for you is to mind yourselves. Take care of yourself so you can keep doing this job for a long and fulfilling career. Shift work is the enemy of sleep, so I'd like you to prioritise sleep. I'd like you to eat well. I'd like you to share your big thoughts and feelings with the people close to you, so that you own those feelings and they don't own you. And finally, please make sure that you get to do what you love with the people you love. And no doubt, you will look back on your careers when you retire and say, I'm glad I did this job. Hi, I'd just like to congratulate you on your graduation and uh, I wish you all the very best with your future careers. Best of luck. Congratulations on receiving your diploma in emergency medical technology and all the very best to you during the rest of your career in the emergency services. And remember, every day brings new learning opportunities. Hi, everyone. My name is Killian McGrogan. I'm one of the doctors here in the College of Surgeons. Um, I've been working on and off with the Brigade for over 20 years at this stage. 
and it is one of the organisations that genuinely I most admire in our country. This is a great day for you. Congratulations. You work really hard. You thoroughly deserve it. And it's a really wonderful achievement for you and your family, the Brigade and the City of Dublin. I wish you all very long, happy, healthy and successful careers. And thank you for all the work that you're doing. Hello all, Brendan Carroll here, Dublin Fire Brigade Training Officer. I'd like to congratulate you all on graduating as paramedics with Dublin Fire Brigade and wish you all the best with your future careers. Congratulations to all of you on successfully achieving this award, especially during these very challenging times. I wish you every success in your career going forward and you'll always be welcome in RCSI, whether for further studies or just for a catch-up. Thank you very much for your service throughout COVID. I know it's been hard. And again, I wish you every success for the rest of your career. Stay safe. Vice Chancellor, Chief Fire Officer, Deputy Vice Chancellor, members of the Partnership Board, family members, friends, supporters, and all of those watching this cyber graduation ceremony. As RCSI President, I wish to be among the first to offer my sincere congratulations to all new graduates of the RCSI University of Medicine and Health Sciences. While it is unfortunate we cannot celebrate in person, I'm delighted to address you this afternoon and to congratulate all of you who have successfully completed the Diploma in Emergency Medical Technology and on whom I have had the pleasure of conferring diplomas this afternoon. It is also my pleasure to join you, your families, friends, and teachers on this happy day as we celebrate your achievements. RCSI was founded by Royal Charter in 1784 and since then has sought to maintain the highest standards in healthcare, education, and training. Our mission is to educate, nurture, and discover for the benefit of human health. Dublin Fire Brigade has been providing an emergency ambulance service since 1898 and today is engaged annually in approximately 100,000 emergency response vehicle mobilizations. The partnership between RCSI and Dublin Fire Brigade dates to 2002 when the partnership became accredited by the Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Council for teaching emergency medical technology. The paramedic program is a vital part of our joint commitment to patient care. As the program has developed, so has the role of the paramedic, with an increasing range of clinical skills and pre-hospital administration of drugs to seriously ill patients. The Trauma System for Ireland report mandates expansion in pre-hospital care and retrieval systems. The role of paramedics will only increase as critical care is centralised and greater distances must be travelled. An active partnership board oversees the education programme, ensuring that standards are maintained and that areas for future development and expansion are fully explored. This board is committed to regular review of the course in the light of current demands. Today's conferring, our eighth, will bring the total number of graduates from this partnership to just under 600 since its inception. I know that you, our graduates today from Dublin Fire Brigade, Dublin Airport Fire and Rescue, and for the first time, a member of the Irish Coast Guard Search and Rescue Service, will be great ambassadors for this course and our partnership. We recognize the commitment and hard work you have invested in the program it is really gratifying to see the expertise of this diploma expanding across all pre-hospital rescue services and not just traditional ambulance services. Life as a healthcare provider is often difficult, intellectually, emotionally and physically demanding, but it is also deeply satisfying because of the personal nature of caring for others. Your work also involves dealing with a wide range of people, from the strong and the brave, to the weak and deprived, and to those low in spirit. You see those who are vulnerable, often in the most challenging of circumstances, frequently clinging to life. 
total commitment, compassion and understanding are always required. The training you have received on this course will undoubtedly give you the clinical acumen and psychological skills to cope with most situations. Sincerity in dealing with the mundane and the routine is probably, however, a better barometer of success than the occasional spectacular achievement. Your job will be even more rewarding in the knowledge that you have honed your clinical knowledge and skills through this course. While you have reached this point largely through your own efforts, I know that you would wish me to acknowledge on your behalf and to thank your parents, partners and families who have supported you and have journeyed with you to this stage. They are justifiably proud of your success. On your behalf, I would also like to thank your teachers and mentors who have worked hard to prepare you for your professional career. I hope that you have enjoyed your studies with RCSI and these doors will always be open to you. You are now part of an extended RCSI community and we look forward to meeting you in college again to learn about your progress and we will keep you informed about developments here in the college, your college. May I once again congratulate you all and wish you and your families continued success and happiness in your professional and personal lives. RCSI President Professor Ronan O'Connell, Vice Chancellor, CEO, Registrar Professor Carl Kelly, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs Professor Hannah McGee, members of the RCSI DFB Partnership Board, Head of Postgraduate Studies Professor Darren O'Connor, Teaching Faculty Graduates, graduates, family and friends, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen. As Chief Fire Officer, I would like to add my sincere congratulations to all of you who have passed the Diploma in Emergency Medical Technology. Since the inception of the Dublin Fire Brigade, Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland partnership in 2002, both the partnership and our training programmes have grown from strength to strength. Both organisations having many years of expertise in providing the highest standards in training and education. This is put into practice in the delivery of timely and appropriate standards in pre-hospital emergency medical care to the community. It is great to see the programme expanding to include graduates again from Dublin Airport Fire and Rescue and for the first time the Irish Coast Guard Search and Rescue Service. I recognise and acknowledge the hard work which all of you put in throughout every aspect of your paramedic programme. I also appreciate the unusual and difficult circumstances presented by COVID-19 and the additional challenges you and your loved ones faced. For example, the required differences in responding to patients and the difficulties presented by entering patients' homes in full PPE without knowing if you are going to bring COVID home with you at the end of your shift. Reassuring patients and their families that the person behind the mask could be trusted to bring a loved one to hospital. Changes in care which require streaming patients into COVID and non-COVID handovers to hospital staff. Challenges in maintaining operational staffing levels due to being in close contact or infected by COVID, knowing the extra pressure on your peers to cover while you're out of work. On your behalf, I would also like to thank the wives, husbands, partners and family members of the graduates for all the help and support they gave to you all throughout your studies, particularly during this pandemic. I would like to thank and congratulate the course directors, Class 14, Mark Fay, and for Class 15, Niall O'Reilly, and the tutors involved in each course today. Thank you to those who can't attend for the hard work and long hours in preparing you and guiding you through the didactic part of the programme and the officers of the brigade for their assistance during the field internship process. I would like to acknowledge the work of the partnership board and a special word of thanks to all who were involved in organizing this occasion. From RCSI conference and events personnel, Aoife Mahan and Cara McVeigh, and Patricia Fitzpatrick and Kate Whelan from the paramedic program office, all of whom are responsible for putting together today's ceremony. Finally, I wish you every success in your future career, be it within Dublin Fire Brigade, Dublin Airport Fire and Rescue, and the Irish Coast Guard. 
Today is a day of joy and celebration. It's one of those days that gives us all a sense of purpose and energizes us all for the work ahead. We at RCSI are so proud and inspired by you. Despite the impact of this pandemic, you've persisted in your goals. On behalf of myself and all my colleagues, I offer you heartfelt congratulations and wish you safety and courage as you embark on the next phase of your career. You are an important part of our RCSI community and are always welcome at RCSI. Please keep in touch and we will look forward to welcoming you back again in the near future.